Hi there, in this lecture we're going to talk about rollups and cubes. These two operations allow for so much more flexibility in analyzing your data and they work with the group by clause. So before I explain to you what those are, uh, I think it's going to be easier to work with a limited data set for this. So as part of this lecture, I've provided you a script that you can execute and I've actually loaded that script here in my PG admin tool. And so that script basically just creates a new table. It's a simple table called sales, which contains continent, country, city, and units sold. Okay, so let's execute that. So a city belongs in a country, and a country belongs in a continent. So this is a good table to practice our group by clause and uh, introducing the roll up and cube that I'm about to show you. But anyway, after creating that table, we highlight all of these insert statements. And let's just hit execute. And now we should have the data in that table. So let me just do a quick select star from sales so that you can see what this data looks like. And let me actually order by uh, the continent, the country, and the city so that we get to see a, a nice and even breakdown. So here in the continent column, we've got Asia, Europe, and North America. So three continents. And each of these continents have, of course, countries within them. And each of these countries have cities within them. And then the units sold in those particular cities. Okay? So in Asia, we've got two countries. We've got China and we've got Japan. In Europe, we've got France and United Kingdom. And in North America, we just have one country, which is uh, Canada. Okay? And then each one of these countries have these cities, as you can see. So if we were to group by one of these, let's just do select continent and then we do a sum of the units sold from the sales table group by continent this query will give us the breakdown of how many units were sold in each continent so if i highlight this hit execute notice these are those numbers i can do a similar thing for um, the country so that we can see the break breakdowns by country, just like that. Let's hit to execute. And notice these are all our countries. And these are the sums of the units sold within the countries. And then finally, the smallest unit is the city. So let me just copy this and paste it down here. I'll change this to city, change this to city. And let's execute this. And now we have the breakdown by city. So notice that we're grouping by three different criteria. We're first getting the sums of the units sold by continent, then we're getting the sums of units sold by country, and then we're getting the sums sold by, um, by city, broken down by city. Wouldn't it be convenient if we could see the breakdown of each one of these groups in one query? Rather than writing three separate queries, uh, one for each column, how about we see all the data from each one of these queries using a single query? Well, the awesome thing is the group by clause can allow that. Let me show you. There's a operation called grouping sets, and that will allow us to see the breakdown by each one of these groups. So let me show you how that query looks. So we can do select, continent, country, city, all right, all three columns, and then the sum of the units sold from the sales table, group by, and here's a keyword, it's called grouping sets. Okay, so this keyword belongs after the group by. And in here, we provide all of the different sets that we want to see, all the different groups that we want the data broken down by. So we can specify all three of these columns like that. And now this will show us in one query the breakdown by continent, the breakdown by country, and the breakdown by city meaning we get to see the sums of units sold by grouping by continent, country, and city, all right, individually, separately. Let me show you what this looks like. Let's hit execute, and there we go. The first set of values is grouping by continent, and these are the sums if we were to group by continents. The next set of data is right here. This is grouping by country, and it's giving us the sums if we were to group by country. And then finally here, we're grouping by city, and this gives us the sums for grouping by city. All right, so this grouping sets option, it's an operation 
that is in, that could be included in the group by basically shows us in one snapshot what the data looks like if we were to group by continent and then it shows us what the data would look like if we were to group by country and then it shows us what the data would look like if we were to group by city so really flexible really cool stuff going on here the grouping sets allows us to see the the sums of units sold by grouping by continent individually and then grouping by country individually and then grouping by city individually in one query okay rather than writing these three different queries that we wrote earlier one grouping by continent and another one grouping by country and another one grouping by city it does all three of these queries in one using this syntax and grouping sets this keyword grouping sets allows us to do just that now if you wanted to see the grand total okay all of the units sold um, in the sales table we just put a comma and use an empty set of brackets like that okay remember in the over clause if we were to leave the over clause empty it just gives a total count of uh, the tables well this will do just ex pretty much exactly the same it'll it'll execute this function on the entire table and won't group by anything okay so this means show me the total sum when we're not grouping by anything okay so let's highlight this and hit execute and right towards the top this first record that is what uh, this syntax this little piece of syntax returns if we were to group by nothing and we just wanted to get the sum of all the units sold that's what this value is that's what the first record has and then of course we see the breakdown by continent we see the breakdown by country and then we see the breakdown by city now the next operation that you can include in the group by is instead of using grouping sets you can use something called a rollup so let me type that up here rollup and for that we do not need this because it actually computes that for us we don't need that last part so we want to roll up by continent country and city and what this rollup does is it gives us the sum of units sold if we were to group by all of these columns as well as if we were to group by two of these columns and then finally if we were to group by just one of these columns that's what this rollup allows us to do so let me show you what this looks like let's highlight this data uh, this uh, this query and execute it and let's expand this so that we can easily see everything so of course this first thing is the grand total it does that by default and then we see the group by city country and continent all right, so what would the values look like here? What are these numbers if we were to group by all three of these columns, right? That's the first set of data. Then the next set of data is uh, what these numbers look like if we were to group by uh, just the continent and country, okay? That's what these numbers are. And then finally, um, if we were to just group by continent, uh, we would see these numbers, okay? So that's what Rollup does. It shows us the amount if we were to group by nothing, and then it shows us the amount if we were to group by all three of these columns. And then it shows us the amount if we were to group by two of these columns. And then it shows us the amount if we were to group by just one of these columns. That's what the rollup operation allows us to do. Now there is even more flexibility. And that comes with something called cube. So if I change this rollup to cube, now cube is going to give me all of the different combinations. If we were to group by uh, just the continents column, what will the sum of units sold be? If we were to just group by country, if we were to just group by city, or if we were to just group by continent and country, or if we were to group by continent and city, or if we were to group by country and city. So all of those combinations of columns that could be used in the group by, that's what the cube does for us, okay? So let me show you what this data looks like. Let's highlight this and hit execute. And let me expand this. Here's the first set of data. This shows us the sums if we were to group by all three of these columns, all right, continent, country, city. Then the next data set of data is if we were to group by uh, just the continent and country, gives us the numbers there. And then it gives us the amount if we were to group by continent only, okay? Then it shows us the values if we were to group by country and city. And then it shows us, if we were to just group by country, what the values would be. And then it shows us what the values would be if we were to group by 
continent, and city. All right, and then finally, it shows us what the values would look like if we were to group by city. So all the different combinations of columns are aggregated if we use the cube operation in the group by. So again, the cube operation allows us to see the units sold based on grouping by uh, either the continent column or either the country column or either the city column individually, or a combination of these two columns, continent and country, country and city, or continent and city. So basically all different combinations, okay? Rollup doesn't show every single combination. It just shows us uh, grouping by three columns and then grouping by two columns and then grouping by a single column. Okay, so as you can see, the rollup and cube provide so much more flexibility in the queries that you write. And instead of, let's go back up here, instead of running individual queries, one for continent, one for country, and one for city, we get to see the combinations of grouping by those columns in a single query using the rollup or the cube operations. All right, so take your time with this. Practice with the data that I've provided here in the sales table. Write your queries, practice with the rollup, the cube operation, as well as the grouping sets that I went over in the beginning of this lecture. And it's going to be completely clear to you once you see the data change as you apply these different operations. Okay, so with that being said, let me wrap it up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another lecture.